Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome to episode 19 of Space Engineers. So, I just thought at the beginning of this episode, before we get onto our shield generators, I'll show you this. You can actually drop your assault rifle for your inventory, and you can actually see what it looks like, and just look at the modelling on this, it's absolutely beautiful. You can obviously tell it's a G36 assault rifle from the receiver and the magazine well. It's obviously been chopped there, and they've cut off the original part and added this sort of weird, like, red dot style sight. And they've also put an M4 style stock on it. I just can't wait for small arms to be on the game in the game. So just imagine it. Imagine it's like you just say, "Take an assault rifle." You just run it over here, and you press K, and you go and throw an assault rifle at you, and you do like an epic. Matrix moment where the guy ga grabs the assault rifle and he's spinning around. Obviously, gravity is on, so I've just dropped it on the floor. But you can imagine some epic moments. Or like I'm out of ammunition, and you just throw a guy through no gravity, some ammunition. Oh, I can't wait. So obviously, we've got this area here. We're going back up to the top to the surface where I'm going to show you my gravity field sort of generator. It works and creates a field, so any object that is under the influence of gravity or will be affected by it will be repelled. So technically, all these weapons that people are producing with stones inside them, you can completely defend against them with this shield generator. Obviously, it's not going to be as awesome as the things you see in Star Wars when it has a big ripple when it hits it, but it works really simply. What we're doing here is we've got two shield generators here. Basically, what happens is you have a line of gravity generators repelling what's ever fired at you. So I put this in as a safety precaution yesterday and I didn't actually think how cool it was actually because what happened is, as you may have known, I blew up a massive hole in my crater. But I put this on just in case when I was experimenting over here and it has repelled many different objects that have been comprised of these gravity objects. So I'll just show you a quick um, general example of this. So we've got the ship here. Imagine if I was firing a torpedo. So I'll get a rock out here. So we we race towards it like we're a torpedo. And we're going to release this colbo off. So we've released that. Look at this. Now the gravity generator from there will launch the object back at you. Like in Star Wars or something where you see someone launch a torpedo. And the next minute the gravity shield comes on and launches it back at them. So if, if the captain is not too smart, they could have their own torpedoes heading back for them. But anyway, let's get onto this ship. So this ship is like the ultimate smuggler ship. It's like a go-fast boat for space. And the idea of it is to carry a lot of loot fast over a lot of terrain. And I see these ships being built every day on the Steam Workshop. These massive ships. Absolutely beautiful designs. But I think, what will they apply that be like in the PvP environment? What would happen? And some of them have a turning circle that would take forever. Someone was explaining the turning circle was about five minutes. And in this little smuggler ship, Basically, I'm using speed over weaponry to get out of any situation. So let's quickly step into the cockpit area, and we'll take it for a spin. So the torpedo hole below, I've not put any torpedoes on them, because I'm trying to avoid doing torpedo sort of style videos for a while, because I had like six or seven of them. But anyhow, this is it. We've got this very fast, very maneuverable ship, very fast at turning. I need to sort the power usage out, that's the only problem with it, but just look at it. It looks like the combination of um, one of them sort of tanks you see in Star Wars and something like um, one of them hovercraft. But it just cruises so well and I just need to get some more power on it to be a little bit more effective. So we're like 230% over, so let's add some more power and actually see what we can do with this thing. So um, let's kick it up and add a load of reactors on the front. So I've obviously not worked out the power to weight ratio very well on this ship yet. And normally to work it out, I normally just keep placing reactors and engines until I've got a really nice maneuverable ship. But it's all about acceleration, I think, with these ships, because you want to get out of a jam as fast as you got into it. And especially when it comes to turn as well. See, I'm still over the power usage, but look at my acceleration. Absolutely beautiful. So it's a pretty nice ship. The idea was originally to have a hangar in the bottom, but I changed my mind. And I've just kept it this really simple, speedy design. I think we don't have to sort the power generators out, though. And we don't have to also cover up the end capsule at the back. But anyhow, thanks for watching today. And I thought I'd show you the assault rifle, because I just dropped it from the inventory. And I thought, damn, that's pretty damn cool. And I also wanted to show you this idea of a force field that you can create with gravity. Also, a friend of mine, um, Tazu from Levitating Gamers, is doing a sort of revolver weapon. So if you saw my gravity weapon the other day... He's built something like with a, a revolving barrel that basically flips the shell around and then fires it out. But I'll leave a link in the description for that, so go check him out, and I'll see you next time.